What's up guys, Dark Mode 23 back with another video for you guys. And today, I'm doing something a bit different than my gaming videos or unboxings. I'm doing a review, actually. So I started a new hobby, doing a tech collection, like some YouTubers and other people, but... <clears throat> So I'm just going to review what I have, definitely going to get more in the future. So I have broken, working, boxes, yeah see I got laptops, miscellaneous, phones, boxes, yeah. Alright, <clears throat> let's start with this. So this is a original Xbox One power adapter, came with my Xbox One, but it broke, uh, let's see. A week ago and it's just the orange light wouldn't go away wouldn't turn white so I can't play farm sim so I ordered a new one that's coming today so now it's in the collection and I have the just the wall adapter that with it too <clears throat> first phone a black iPhone 4s from my grandpa this one he said might actually still work just it's a 30 pin adapter for the 30 pin charger so to buy one of those but I haven't yet but um yeah that's the only that's the only thing stopping me from seeing if it works if is no 30 pin um have the fourth generation iPod oh, iPod shuffle in green probably one of my favorite colors it came out in out in I love the clip on the back how it's like metallic -y, like that it's really cool and it came with the dongle style charger way better than the second gen shuffles how it's like a stand and a pokey pokey boy man stepping on that thing next a rose oh it's nice in the light it looks yellow a rose gold iphone se oh boy also from my grandpa this one just doesn't even work it doesn't take a charge so it doesn't look like there's anything in the charger but it's just busted. I, so I took the case off and the screen protector since it's just going to be in the collection. So yeah, he gave it to me with that stuff on it. Next, this one's first working thing is the 6th uh, gen iPod Shuffle. Look how thin that is. This one my sister uses all the time since I'm using my iPhone 10, if you can see in the back of the phone me and my iPod, I mean my, my 10, that's part of the collection technically, but yeah, see, this actually works still, so, um, hold on, you can see it's running iOS 12.5.5, so, I'm pretty sure it used to run, um, it used to run iOS 13 or higher, I'm pretty sure, because I used to have GarageBand. But then I switched accounts on it, and then it had the same as my first gen iPod, iPad Air. So, which is at my other house. That's part of the collection, but it's at my other house. First gen iPad Air. Alright, next, uh, first item in, well, second item in the miscellaneous is my first gen Amazon Echo Dot. I just, in my room it works, but I'm using the charger right now to charge my, I have a Amazon Fire tablet, it's part of the collection too, my sister's using it because I took the iPod. Anyways, um, yeah, so this works, just unplugged. Next, this is a working watch. You see, I don't think the time's correct, but it's got the rainbow lights. This watch was perfect for having in Pride Month. But, yeah, this is a, fa a fan miss sport watch. Heavy duty and everything. It's really nice on the wrist, too. I like it. And then, second second watch. The uh, second, to, second and last watch is this Dakota Moon Glow watch. This one's broken from my grandma. Um, it has, it has a light on it too, but it's broken, so. This one, this one looks okay on the wrist, I guess. Um, let's see. 
Next thing, this one's probably the oldest item in the collection. A Sony um, micro cassette porter from 1999. It fully works and everything from my grandma. She gave it to me with the, uh, with the original charger and everything. And it came with the original like instruction booklet from it. Perfect. It was really, really cool. And a little baggie that it fits in. And since it's a tape recorder, she hooked me up with two uh, cassette tapes. We got a Radio Shack tape and a, I think this one might probably came with it, the Sony. So I just keep, I just keep the tape recorder with all the other stuff and I have the bag and the, uh, and the cassettes and the charger and the separate little baggie off to the side of the collection. So, yeah, it fully works. Um, but if it doesn't have batteries in, you have to keep it on the charger for it to work. So, oh yeah. You got, you can open it and everything, record, and then put batteries in it too. But I don't have any with me, so. Alright, next thing off to the side of it is a, actually, wait. Yeah, 2002 Nintendo Game Boy Advance SP. It's probably my favorite Game Boy because it's just, just how seamlessly it flips open. Doesn't work, I don't think. I just don't have a charger for it. Um, this one I brought from my other house. Yeah, I like that. It's got a sticker on it too. I should probably try and get that off. Next, this one is really cool too. Hold on. This one, I mean, I have the thing it's meant for. I just don't know how it works. This is a, it might just look like a remote to you, like a regular TV remote. You see it's got PlayStation buttons on it. Sony, it's a PS2, a PlayStation 2 remote. Like, not a, not a controller, I guess it could be one. It's not a controller, like a TV remote for a PlayStation 2. Found this at my other house, so I was like, oh, I'll add it to the collection. So, I have a PlayStation 2, it works, but I don't know if the remote works, but <clears throat> I know the PlayStation 2 works, play games on it. I mean, alright, next, PlayStation thing, a working PlayStation portable, I just don't have the right charger for, charger, the right charger for it, I used to have the right charger for it, and that's how I knew it worked, because, but we had to throw the charger away because it got all sticky for some reason. Um, but yeah, it fully works, and I have two games for it. I mean, they're the same game, just the greatest hit version, and so you got the, it's Burnout, Burnout Legends, or the PSP. I mean, I just have the greatest hit version in the clear, it's probably my favorite combo for some reason, in the clear case, and you have the regular Burnout one in the polycarbonate uh, universal media disc case. And this thing just pops right open, and you put a game in, and yeah, all set. Yeah, um, I'm gonna save the computer for very last, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move my chair over, and I'll just move them over to the box collection. The Apple boxes. I don't know if I've used them in other videos before, but I've used them for school stuff before. So. Disclaimer, only two of these actually were my devices, and then the rest were given to me from family and friends, but this is my um, AirPods 2 case that came with my AirPods 2nd Gen. See, I have the designed in Apple by California sleeve and that thing and all the um, instructions and whatnot. So that's nice to use if I want to make a skit or something with the unboxing. I'm gonna have my these AirPods Pro box came from my stepdad, so it just has the container that came. It doesn't have anything else with it. That's AirPods. Then I have my sixth gen iPod Touch case. 
pretty nice. So, this thing just pops off the top. I think the phone was there. And this thing... I don't know. But this thing would... It would come out, and that's what... See, that's where the... That whatever is, is and where the stickers and charger stuff were. And next... <clears throat> Actually, I have two of these. The iPhone 12 Pro box. One's from this one, I think. Hold on. Open. Yeah, this one, I think, was from my stepdad. Also, it had the little packet in it with only one of the instruction booklets. He obviously took the SIM card, um, SIM card door opener or whatever. And then the second one, I think I have different stuff in it. No, this one's not. This one's from a friend. Or a family friend, I should say. And then this one's a bit broken. But this is an iPhone 13 mini box. Came from my grandma. I mean, grandpa, sorry. I mean, I guess it's good if you want to slide it out for some reason. But this one just has the little packet. No instructions, no nothing. Just a little packet. Or the sleeve for it or whatever. <clears throat> Alright, that's the boxes. Alright, now for the computers. We'll start from smallest to biggest. So this one is a, I think 2016? No, hold on. 2018 Acer Chromebook. This one's actually, this one works, fully work problem is I'm keeping this LED light switch on it because it's my school computer. I don't want you guys seeing anything from my school. But quick, as you see, it will turn on just a second. Light, yep, Chrome OS. So, I mean, it works and everything. But, yeah, I'm just keeping that thing on top because I don't want to expose my school. Next, probably my favorite computer in the collection. This one's hefty. 2006 MacBook Polycarbonate from my stepdad. This one doesn't work at all. Actually, it might work with a little of a charger. My guess is it doesn't work. That's the power button right here. It's really nice. One thing I like about this MacBook, if we flip it over, I'm going to just use my nail pop open the battery or the little switch right here hold on gotta get some reinforcements nope I don't want to grab a coin or oh, am I safe will this work probably not hey it did work there we go, now it's in the unlock position. And now we can go ahead and flip it and lift it. And, yep, removable battery. This side, though, it's 2007. Wait, did I say 2006? I meant 7. It says 2007 Apple on here, Apple Inc., and on the computer. So, that's how I knew. But it has, I think this is a status button. So you press this button and the status lights would pop up. But that's busted. Same as the whole entire computer. So. There we go. Yep. It's a nice to have. It's been sitting on stairs for a couple years. Alright. Last computer and last thing in the collection. This used to be my computer. Uh, I think this might be the same year as the Chromebook. It's. Um, two, never mind, this is the 2016. 2016 ASUS, I think, I don't know what the model is, um, but it's has Windows 10 on it. It's broken, got blue screen of death. I don't want to open it because it's disgusting on the inside. Should I open it? It's giant. Yep, look! Just gonna cover that up. It's missing this key from Raging Too Hard to playing Roblox Obbies. You hear how sticky it is. Yeah, it's from playing Obbies. I didn't use WASD like a normal person. So yeah, it sort of works. 
I, I blew the battery on it, keeping it plugged in, but it turns on, I can get, I can get to the sign in screen, but when I sign in, it just freezes, nothing happens, so, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and close that up. No, I got it on my hand. Okay. Put that back. It's not how you do street stuff in the collection. Alright, guys. This video's probably gone on long enough. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this random, just tech collection review. Um, I might put out a gaming video tonight with my new supply block. It's coming later. I don't know. Probably not. Depending on when it gets here. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this has been Jackson Roblox M signing off. Peace. Ah, oh, shoot. I screwed it up. I meant... This has been Dark Lambo 23 signing off for now. Peace.